Hey guys welcome back to my channel. Sorry this video took almost over a month to publish. I was on a semi hiatus because of school and finals week while writing this but I finally managed to finish it. There are many, many spelling and audio errors because I edited majority of this at 1 in the morning and couldn't be bothered to do it all over again so I'm really sorry for that as well. Today's video is just a continuation of my last series but with Cage Hina, Yaku Lev and Kuro Ken instead. I'm not super proud of this video and how it turned out, but since many of you requested it I hope you enjoy it. This is my first time writing those ships so if I get them wrong or their personalities seem OOC that's my bad, especially Yaku Lev. Anyways, thank you for all the support on my channel and I love you all. Enjoy. Hinata has added Lev and Kiru to the group chat. Hinata has named the group chat son dear boyfriend challenge part 2. Um? Shrimpy? Hello Shoyo. Nanny what is this? Hi Lev. It's a group chat Kiru-san. We. Oui. Yes I know that. Guys. Yay. So I heard from Okoa that him, Atsumu and Suna did at son dear boyfriend challenge on their boyfriends. And? Our boyfriends are also Tsundeers, no? I don't like where this is going. What's a Tsundeer? Isn't that that one game? That's Yandir Simulator Lev. Ohh okay. Blind Kiru emojis. Anyways. I really wanted to do it too okay then do it yourself I'm out. Hey I don't be such a party pooper Kiru-san. I don't know what a Tsundeer is but I'm in. Kajima has been acting like a total nuthead lately so like sunglasses emoji this is revenge. Yaku-san is always mean to me. Boohoo. Mean heart broketh. Rip. Kenma and I are just fine so thanks but no thanks. Or oh, come on Kiru. Have a little fun in life. Our youth. Always finding fun in the smallest things. You're literally 17? That's just a thing he does leave him be. Alright. It's tempting. But Kenma and I were gonna play on his PSP today. Too bad. Yes let's do it. Um, what are we doing exactly? Make our boyfriends jealous. Plus act like they do Sunday like etc etc. I think I got it. Act like Kenma? Bet. Oh 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 yak's gonna be so mad. But YOLO. Y-A-Y-O-M-G. Don't get such a high head. I'm only doing this cuz I'm bored. MHM right. Y'all smell cat? I hate it here. Wait wait how long are we doing this for? Um, they did a week but I don't think we can last that long so two days. Excuse me. Are you questioning my willpower? Yes. Kiru you tried to act mad with Kenma once and didn't even last an hour. Ha. Lmeo please. It's just hate Kiru de ha. Pat's your back. I wanna do it now I'm so excited. Alright hold your horses. Kags is coming over in half an hour then we can start. This gonna be easy peasy. Impatient lev noises. Did you just. To yourself. Angry Hinata noises. Neutral face. Bye. Save Kiru 2020 I wrote this in December don't come for me. He is tired. Stop. So UHH. Make that Sunday's jealous Walmart version has commenced. Way to wrap it up. Not Walmart version. Shut up. We're moving on. How about? No. Kajima and Hinata private message. Oh I. Hinata. Two minutes later. Question mark. Moron. Took you long enough. I'm. Grinning face. Red exclamation mark and question mark. Anyways. I'm on my way from the convenience store you want something? Hum. Meat buns. No please or thank you. Face with rolling eyes. Kidding. I'm on my way. Stay safe. Thumbs up emoji. In real life pov. Hinata laughed to himself at their short lived convo. And how serious Kajima came across. This challenge wasn't going to be particularly difficult. He's already mastered the art of acting like his boyfriend. Despite all that, 
Hinata still had a feeling he was gonna slip up somehow. He pushed away the thought though, still headstrong on winning against Lev and Kiru. He didn't know the two quite well, but Lev sure as hell didn't have much willpower in him and Kiru will always be weak for Kenma. Yeah, Hinata definitely had this in the bag. Jeez, why does he take so long? The shop isn't even that far from here. Kajima's grumpy face flashed in his mind, and he chuckled at the thought of him carrying bags of groceries with his mouth stuffed with meat buns. Maybe it wasn't going to be so easy, but Hinata was strong. He could handle it, or so he thought. Honey, someone's here to see you. Coming, mum. Hinata practically jumped off his bed, running down the stairs so fast he almost tripped. Yes, this was supposed to be a challenge where you act cold with your boyfriend, but that's only in front of him, no harm in being excited beforehand. It's Tobio. Tobio is here. Yeah, kinda already knew that. He's so cute. The young girl swooned, and Hinata gave her a look of disgust as he opened the front door. His shirt was a bit disheveled and hair a tangled mess, but it was nothing compared to what Kajima looked at the moment. His otherwise coal hair was sticking up in some places, some glued to his head, almost like someone ruffled it too hard. His jacket was nearly completely off his shoulders and big brown grocery bags were hanging from both arms. Hinata held in a teasing laugh. Hey. Hey. He nodded his head to greet him and Kajima was a bit confused. Usually Hinata would rush into his arms and hug him, maybe a kiss on the cheek but it was just normal. It's probably because I'm carrying bags today, Kajima thought to himself. He's not acting strange. Oh what a lovely surprise. Nice to see you again Tobio-kun. Nice to see you too, Mrs. Hinata thanks. I'll cook you boys up something nice. Hinata show him upstairs. He already knows mum. Hinata whined, and Kajima smiled softly. He loved staying over at the Hinatas. They were always so kind and welcoming. Hey Natsu. Kajima smiled at Natsu, whose face reddened. Hinata rolled his eyes watching his sister sputter and stare. I, uh, hey Tobio. Alright we're leaving. Hinata pulled on Kajima's jacket sleeve staggering towards him by the staircase. The setter looked distraught at first, wide eyes staring at the redhead, but soon understood why Hinata was acting so hostile. He was jealous. They made their way upstairs, Kajima trailing behind the ginger who kept his head low. His blue eyes were glassed over, calculating why his boyfriend was being way quiet. Didn't think you were the type to get jealous easily. Kajima laughed once they reached Hinata's room, but the older didn't respond until a couple minutes later. Jealous? Why would I be jealous? You're not? Of Natsu? No way. Kajima was really puzzled now. If Hinata's supposedly not jealous, why is he acting like this? He stopped himself from asking why however, and settled onto the bed. Whatever you say, moron. Don't call me a moron. M-O-R-O-N. Kajima spelled out, and it took every ounce of Hinata to not pounce on the setter right then and there. Hinata rolled his eyes, plopping himself on his desk chair. Babe. Um? Are you mad at me? Hinata whirled around, head snapping up to see if the setter was serious or not. By the serious look in his eyes, he could tell Kajima was in fact very serious. Mad? Why would I be mad? You sure? You're acting strange. Dummy. I'm acting normal. I dunno what you're talking about. There you go again. What? You get all defensive whenever I ask you something. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong and you're making it so hard for me. The mood in the room shifted, and the tension between the two became more intense. Hinata squirmed in his seat, uncomfortable with the latter's gaze set onto him. Whatever. No, it's not whatever. What is up with you today? I told you, nothing is wrong. Kajima sighed, sliding off the mattress and walked to where Hinata was sitting. His navy blue eyes gave Hinata butterflies as he stared at the latter intently. Without saying another word, 
Kajima engulfed him in a hug, head resting on Hinata's. He was taken aback, arms awkwardly flailing about in Kajima's hold. He was definitely not expecting this. Um, what are you doing? Whenever you're mad at me you shove me away when I hug you. Hinata's eyes widen. Do I really do that? He thought. That's not fair. He protested, but the setter just hugged him tighter. Hinata stopped moving for a second and Kajima smiled, celebrating over his mini victory. Ugh. Get off. No. I'm serious. Kajima. Oh. Kajima teased, and it really put the ginger on edge. He finally managed to shove the other male off who currently stood there stunned. Okay what the fuck. I told you to get off. Hinata bites, and Kajima rises a brow at his tone. So you actually are mad at me. How would you know? You never take me seriously anyways. Kajima's expression softened, and he set his gaze on Hinata again. No, babe it's not like that. Well it sure seems like it. He grumbled, shoulders relaxing as he slowly turned to face his boyfriend. Even though his face was downcast, Kajima could clearly make out the tears threatening to fall from his eyes and how his bottom lip was quivering. Hinata was on the brink of crying. Kajima's heart dropped to his stomach at that thought and wrapped a comforting arm around the blocker, the only thing he could think of doing at the moment. No, he thought. No, he can't cry. I can't bear to see him cry. I'm sorry. I'm really, so so sorry. He apologized, a sincere one, and kissed the ginger's forehead. Hinata smiled and looked up at Kajima who had a pained look on his face. What are you apologizing for? Huh? Hinata wiped the tears threatening to fall from Kajima's eyes, and stared dead at them. You big baby. Shut up. You're crying too. But why are you crying? He sniffled, wiping his nose with his sleeve. Because I thought you were upset with me. Hinata's heart warmed, and his smile grew. Kajima, that big baby, was crying over, and he thought it was adorable. He was so grateful to have such a loving and gentle boyfriend, despite how feral they are with each other. If you are, please tell me what I did wrong. It's torture trying to figure it out on my own here. Was I too mean? Or not affectionate enough? Or... Hinata cut his blabbering off with a peck on the lips, and Kajima relaxed into the touch. No, you idiot. I'm not mad at you. I was just upset because I knew I was gonna lose this challenge. He puffed his cheeks out angrily, and the setter shook his head with confusion. The what now? Um, well funny story. He nervously laughed, slowly escaping from Kajima's grasp. This was all kinda sorta maybe a challenge? So you prank me? Kajima raised his voice in irritation, and Hinata flinched. No no. Not a prank. That crying? Being mad and stuff, was all an act? Hey hey I'm still mad at you. I was looking very forward to doing this but you ruined it. Stupid Kajima. Huh? You're in no place to say that. You made me cry. For no reason. For your information. I never asked you to cry. Oh you're so getting it you ass. See mon. What about an I'm sorry kiss? Kajima cornered Hinata into a wall until there was nowhere to go, with his face crumpled up in anger. Red angry face. Okay you big doofus. I get it. Well, you can't beat my ass if I'm not here, right? What? Before Kajima could react, Hinata shoved him out the way and bolted out the room practically flying down the stairs. Why you little? Catch me if you can. Hinata chimed from downstairs, turning a corner and nearly bumping into his mum with a tray of muffins in her hands. Get back here. Kajima followed suit, down the stairs, sliding on the carpet and running past a bewildered missus. Hinata. Hinata squealed in the distance, following a series of whines and complaints. I really wonder what goes on. She chuckled, shaking her head as she placed the warm muffins on the dinner table. After about an hour or so, the two boys soon calmed down and made their way to the kitchen to devour the sweets Hinata's mum so generously made. 
The house was soon filled with the delicious scent of cinnamon and apples, and the ring of laughter from everyone in it. It felt warm, peaceful, cozy. It truly felt like home. For the first time in forever, in the Hinata household at that moment, Kajima had felt at home. It was a nice feeling, to say the least. He couldn't imagine being anywhere else. Kiru and Kenma private messages. Hey. Oh I Kiru. Um? I found a really cool cafe arcade that's open on Saturdays nearby. Okay and? Um. Maybe we could. I don't know. Go. It's up to you though whenever you're free. Oh really? I'll think about it. Okay. Also. Did you do the Biochem homework last night? OMG don't tell me you didn't sleep again. Hey. I did sleep. For like two hours. Woman face palming. Share answers. Kiru sent two attachments. You owe me big time. Thanks. You're the best. Yeah yeah. Kenma and Hinata private messages. Ashoyo. Kenma. Wow you're texting me first. Lmeo yeah. What's up? I'm probably overthinking this but. Kiru's been acting strange. Oh. Hinata internally freaking out. Like. He usually calls me kitten or some other weird pet name. Uses emojis and texts me first. But he hasn't done any of that today. Hum. Maybe he's just having a bad day. That's what I was thinking but. He seemed. Fine. Sorry for bothering you about this it's probably dumb. No no it's fine. That's what I'm here for. Smiley face. What do you think I should do? I'd say ask him about it. Either something bad happened, he woke up on the wrong side of bed or worst case scenario, he's mad at you. Yeah. I'm not good with confrontation but I'll try that. Thanks Shoyo. No problemo. Go get M Tiger. Bye. Shoo go go. Okay. Face with rolling eyes. Face blowing a kiss. IRL pom. Kenma yawned, rubbing his eyes as he got out of bed. He'd been there for an hour, scrolling through the internet until he stumbled upon a really cool arcade nearby, thus telling his boyfriend about it. So they could go together of course. Kenma was not about to go there alone. However, at the moment Kiru didn't feel much more than just an acquaintance. See, Kenma was the type of person to come off differently online than he did in real life, but Kiru was the complete opposite. While he was considered a dry texter for his lack of enthusiasm and emojis, Kiru would go overboard with them. I'm definitely overthinking this. Chill out. Kenma tried to console himself, but there was still a small, pressing thought in the back of his head that Kiru was mad at him and hated him now. He shook his head, Trina forget about it completely. Already having changed and brushed his teeth, he scampered downstairs to see his mum cooking in the kitchen and little brother in his baby seat. Is Kiru here yet? Good morning sweetie. No, not yet. Kenma frowned, lips forming a subtle pout as he sat at the table next to his baby brother. She noticed this and tried to lift the mood. He's probably running late. Don't worry about it too much Kozum. Yeah, thanks mum. He smiled softly pouring himself some cereal. So what if Kiru wasn't there for once? Gave him more time to eat breakfast. Before he could dig in, his doorbell rang in a frenzy. His mum jumped out of her seat in surprise, and walked over to the door with a wide grin. Kiru? Yeah, it's me. Sorry I'm late missus. Kenma. No worries. Kozum. Kiru's here. Yes I know mum. He hurriedly stuffed what he could of the cereal in his mouth, slinging his backpack and a jacket over his shoulders as he walked towards the door. No Nintendo today? Nah, too tired for that. Bye sweetheart. Make sure to eat your vegetables and don't overwork yourself please. Mum I know I know, you tell me every day. Thank you, love ya. Bye. He bowed his head, and followed Kenma out of the apartment. The setter hung his head low, feeling too awkward to face Kiru head on. 
The walk to school was quiet. Way more quiet than usual. Kenma was not used to this. And the silent treatment was slowly frustrating him. Hey. Kiru? Yeah? Blunt and sharp. Kenma visibly flinched. Is something wrong? You seem off today. What? What are you talking about? Um, never mind. Kenma fiddled with his fingers, a nervous habit of his whenever he felt too awkward in a situation. He knows he shouldn't feel like this around his own boyfriend, but it's not like he could help it. Kiru's standoffish behavior certainly wasn't helping either. Sorry. It's fine. Okay, that was way out of character. If Kenmo ever crumbled down and apologized for something, Kiru would coddle him and say it's fine, I love you or something along those lines, totally not that. Kenma brought out his phone, biting his lip anxiously as he opened up his private chat with Hinata. Hinata and Kenma private messages. Shoyo? Sorry it's me again. Kenma-san. Did you ask him? Yeah and he completely brushed it off. And is like acting super weird. I hate it. I think he's mad at me. I didn't even do anything. Whoa whoa Kenma calm down. I'm sure he's not. Where are you guys right now? Walking to school together. So I can't cry. Don't cry. HH. Okay um. I shouldn't be saying this because it'd be unfair to Kiru but. I don't want you row cry. Question mark. He's supposed to be pranking you and it was my idea please don't hate me. Japanese Hinata. My two brain cells can't comprehend. He's pranking you and that's why he's acting like this. Woman running woman running. I'm. What? Calm down. Bruh. What the fuck? Cannot believe I almost cried over this bitch lmao. He sucks so much. God. Thank you for telling me. Nervously sweats. Of course. Don't tell him I told you head kill me PLS. I won't DW. But gosh I feel like a weight got lifted off my chest. AWH yay that's great. Pound symbol and and. Dollar sign HJKKK. Who is texting my boyfriend? I will find you and hunt you down. I. Mouth. I. OMG what the fuck. That was Kajiyama loudly crying face. I'm so sorry. Jealous cousin not giving him attention smh raised hand. Lmeo. Tell him I said hi. Or not cuz he said head kill me. I will buy Kenma. Bye. IRL pov again. Who re you texting? Kiru finally spoke up after what felt like ages. And Kenma looked up from his phone. No one. Um. Kiru noticed that his whole mood and tone changed, and he even wore a slight smile on his face. His heart slowly panged with jealousy, whoever he's texting must be real special then. No, he thought. I'm supposed to be making Kenma jealous, not the other way around. Is it Shrimpy-chan? Kenma froze for a second before shaking his head number. Kiru internally laughed. Kenma was so bad at hiding things. Ah. I see. You see. Congratulations. He flicked the setter's forehead in retolition before petting it, only realizing midway that he's not supposed to be affectionate. Well, shit. Hey, we're already here. Kenma whispered, glancing up to see the big brick building in front of them. They had finally arrived to school from what felt like a 50-hour walk, at least to Kiru. What class do we have first for this semester again? I think I have trade. You probably do as well. Different teacher though. Yeah. I'd recommend some prank classes for you, though. Kenma snickered quietly, clutching onto his backpack stripes tighter. Kiru couldn't believe what he'd just heard. Did he just get busted? No way Kenma knew, unless... I... what? You know... The little prank you tried to pull on me. It was honestly kinda funny. I could see right through you. Kiru was so baffled he just stood there, frozen as if his feet were glued to the concrete. Kenma was already way ahead of him, skipping about like the happiest kid in the world. What in the, how, how the hell did you know? 
Kenma turned around on his heel and winked, a sly smirk on his face at his victory. Good feeling. He then turned back and walked off smugly, leaving Kiru to gather himself. Oh I. You can't just leave. He was way behind, and had to sprint to catch up to Kenma while the setter looked like he was having the time of his life. Get back here. I need answers. In the end, they both came to class late and out of breath, and Kiru still has no idea how Kenma managed to figure out about the challenge. Kyu Hinata sighing in relief. In Nakoma's lock room. Lev, can you get me an extra towel? I can't find mine. Yaku called out to his tall boyfriend, who was currently lounging on the locker room bench, chugging down water. His silver hair was disheveled and practically glued to his forehead. His breaths were also short and ragged from the extra receive practice they had just done. Lev nodded, reaching a hand inside his bag to grab one and gave it to Yaku. Thanks. MHM. Yaku paused, dazed and confused at the lack of honorifics and response from the middle blocker. He brushed it aside however, Lev might just be tired from all that practice. We're the only ones in this locker room, you know. You don't have to be so stiff. Yaku scoffed, trying to lift the quiet mood. Lev just stiffened, and nodded rapidly. Well that's strange, Yaku thought. Something was definitely up. What's up? Why are you acting so weird? Lev was internally struggling to find an answer, and just looked anywhere but the libero. Um. Well. My sister's dog is pregnant. Lev blurted out, and Yaku was definitely taken aback. What did that have to do with their conversation? The libero let out a laugh, but the horrified look on Lev's face was even funnier as if the realization of what he said just dawned on him. Your sister's dog is pregnant? That's why you're acting weird? Lev paused, contemplating if he should agree or not and decided to run with it. Yet, yeah. he nodded, and the libero was more confused than ever. Well uh, I wish her the best. He awkwardly smiled at the taller male, who returned it with a grimace. Thanks Yaku. Um, Yaku-san. He seemed to hesitate even saying the other's name, and it put Yaku on edge. Something else was going on, he doesn't buy into that measly lie for a second. I'm gonna head out now. You better stay safe or I'm beating your ass. AI Captain. Lev saluted like a complete dork, throwing his bag over his shoulders and walked out without another glance. Strange. He was just acting so strange. Yaku pulled out his phone, planning to stay a little while longer since his bus didn't come for another half hour, and went to his texts with Kiru. Kiru and Yaku private messages. Hey you bitch. What do you want, cunt? Neutral face. So true bestie. Bye I hate you. Why'd you text me widow? Because. I'm in a dilemma. Question mark. And you're asking for my help. Wow Yaku I'm surprised. Shut the fuck up I didn't say anything yet. Anyways. Lev is acting weird and I don't know if it's because I did something or it's something going on in his personal life. When is Lev not weird? Okay but. Like really weird. Ignoring you? No. Ugh I don't know how to say it. Less bubbly and stuff. Oh I don't know maybe he's just tired after all that practice. Nah but we done this before. It's just today. No honorifics either. LOL. Deserved. Full stop. Why did I think messaging you was a good idea goodbye? Hey I'm kidding. But maybe he's intimidated. Intimidated? You really have no self-awareness huh? You act feral whenever he messes up just a little bit. And like I get it but dang. Calm down Jamal. You're dumb. And you're oblivious. You dunno what happens behind closed doors. So stop assuming things. Wait. Wait. OMG. Are you saying you. Are affectionate. In private. Shut up. I never said that. You implied it. That's hilarious. Hard to imagine. I'm gonna strangle you. 
Might wanna buy a ladder for that first. Bye. Yes surprise surprise I love my boyfriend. That's why it's abnormal to me why he isn't acting like it since he usually shows off our relationship. Maybe if you came out. Standing man. You're really no help you know that. I'm playing. Seriously just ask him what's up. I literally did and he said his sister's dog was prigo. What? Bahaha. Don't tell me you believed that. Do I look dumb to you? A debatable. Anyways. Do I just like confront him over messages then? He's bound to confess soon. Especially if it's something serious. Ye that's the spirit. Go ham. But not too much cause Lev is a sensitive crybaby. What? Half joking. Blocks you cutely. Bold of you to assume you're not already blocked. Bye bitch. Die. Short people have a shorter lifespan anyway so I think I'll be fine. Middle finger. Lev and Yaku private messages. Lev. Yaku-san? What is it? I guy asked you earlier but um. Can you tell me what's wrong? I know something is bothering you and you won't tell me and it's got me worried. You know you can tell me anything, right? I know I may not seem like the most dependable or nicest person but as your boyfriend it's my duty to care about you. That sounds really cheesy but like. Whatever's going on, you don't have to experience alone unless it's about our relationship. Then tell me and we can try to figure it out. I hate seeing you act like this it makes me feel more helpless than I actually am. Yaku I. I'm just some mean upperclassman right? That's probably what everyone sees me as, and fear not wrong. I just don't want you to see me like that. I really try to be more affectionate but it's hard because I'm stupid and... Yaku please. Let me speak. Yeah? I don't see you as any of those things. If I did I wouldn't even be dating you in the first place. You're not just some mean upperclassman to me. You're my amazing and tiny, in a good way, boyfriend that I love and care about a lot. I know that you're struggling with your sexuality but I'm here for you. And I understand so I'd never leave you for that sole reason. So there's another reason? No. I'm not breaking up with you. You're too amazing and I look up to you too much to even think about breaking up with you even after you yell at me or force me to play extra practice. You always make sure to make up for it later. That's what I love about you. I promise it's not about that Yaku-san. G-R-R-J-D-X-H-J-H-H-H. Fuck you. You're making me cry stop it. He. Sorry not sorry. I'm actually crying what the fuck. Don't be shy put some more. Hey I already complimented you a lot. So if it's not about us. Why were you acting all weird all day yesterday? Or mainly all practice. You couldn't receive for shit. Not like you can anyways but. Mean. No wait don't be sad. I'm sorry. It's the truth but. Crying love emojis. Okay well. Promise to not get mad. That's a bold statement. Just promise okay. Alright alright what is it? Well. I was supposed to uh. Prank you? Um. What? Hinata told me about this son dear boyfriend challenge and I wanted to do it cause I was bored and wanted attention so I did it but not very well as you can tell so uh yeah. Horizontal ellipsis. Scared lev emojis. You what? What? Are you shitting me? The hell. Yaku please calm down. I texted Kiru for nothing. I was sentimental for nothing. Ouch. For nothing by am I chopped liver. Yes. Smiling face with tear. Also why did you text Kiru? Oh. Oops. Kissing face with smiling eyes. Yaku-san. Love ya. Kidding you pulled a prank on me I'm so getting you back for it. That's not fair. You know I suck at these kinds of things. Too bad. Not my problem. Comma. Colon. So we're good? Yeah. You ruined it. What how? It was all sappy and you had to use that emoji I hate you by. Yaku-san I'm sorry. Come back. It's Jesus say hello Jesus G-U-W-A-H-H. It's Jesus. Say hello Jesus. 
<laughs> this user has blocked you and you cannot send further messages. Oh for fuck's sake. Anyways that was the end of the video. There's no end group chat part because the video would come out to be way too long and it's repetitive so I left it out. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I don't know if I plan on writing Yaku Lev or Kuro Ken anytime soon but I might again in the future. Hope you all have an amazing day. Peace out.